Today we are looking at my first world title fight, jumping up in weight. I had the belt at 137 pounds, I moved up to 142 pounds. This was my first title defense, or my first fight, I'm not sure, at this weight. My opponent was representing Trinidad and Tobago, although I believe he was living over in Toronto. Had lots of fights. This was the same night where my brother fought and had his last amateur fight. That video will be linked below. I believe at this point I was 23. Probably a record of around 12 and 0, 13 and 0, something like that. I believe my opponent had about 20 fights, only a couple losses. You can see he has a nice style here, very clean. He was very strong. One of the first guys that I actually had trouble throwing in my career. I think he just slipped there. But when I saw him at Wayans, I went, oh my gosh, this dude is full of muscles. And this was sort of, I believe, shortly after the time that I went to train with Bokau. You can see I'm rocking a Pradget on the right arm, wearing my Simbi shorts from in Thailand. Got the ankle braces, mismatched colors. And you can see above my right ankle brace that I have some tape around my shin. I had a massive bruise, like an actual chunk that felt like it was missing from my shin. So I actually have a pad in there just to provide some protection on that. Good combos there in the corner. Nice body shot to the low kick, working up to the head, back to the body, good cross. Firing away hard. Caught the kick there, came back to the body. Crisp, I haven't watched this fight in, I don't even know, five years, 10 years. I was 23 at the time. Nice clean style, a little bukau shuffle there. I fake the low kick, come to the body. Just keeping this guy trapped in the corner right now. If my memory serves correct, I believe that was my best round. Came out really hard. I think in this fight I played around with a stance switch at some time too. This is one of the first fights where I think I calmed down a little bit, tried some new stuff. Even though the dude I'm fighting is just big. Look at that power in the round kick. I was training like an animal back at this point. Totally over training in hindsight. Like to the point where walking up a flight of stairs was exhausting. Clinch work here. You'll notice that my brother in his fight, if you watched that one already, he didn't do a lot of clinch work. But I went to Thailand, nice uh, corkscrew there. I went to Thailand and did a lot of training in the clinch. So I actually developed a pretty darn good clinch game, which I'm hoping to bring back for my karate combat fights now that we're allowed knees. Nice little scissor knee there. I think that one landed to the chest. I remember after the fight being like, oh, why does my heart hurt? Like my, I felt like my heart was actually sore. And then I watched it and I went, oh, maybe he'd need me in the chest. This is a very, very good fight on just demonstrating clean technique. Nice round kick there to the body. Slip under. It's fun going back and watching fights I haven't seen in ages. Good body shot there again. Just chopping those low kicks. He, the, the opponent looks like he literally runs forward. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I'd say that depends on the experience of your opponent. Nice jab there. Caught the outside leg. I'm doing a good job right now, actually, of minimizing damage to myself. Landing when he throws. Nothing landing there. I mean, I might be biased, but I'm going to definitely say I took the first two rounds. Like that left round kick. But good evasion by him. Nice counter low kick. The lead leg round kick to the body, if you can use it defensively, is very, very slick. He's coming, ooh, nice cross from him there. Uh, 
that little, that little clinch there. Leaning somebody against the ropes, I learned that in Thailand. You lean them back, you drop your weight forward. They get their, the back of their body sort of stretched out and crushed. And you just basically win them. You can legitimately make them run out of air by just dropping your weight forward. I had a couple of guys, a couple of bigger Thai guys do that to me. So far, I would say this is his round. Unless something changes dramatically, this looks looks like he's landed the, uh, the bigger shots. Nice jab there from me, though. I like the footwork. I've got a little bit less into my footwork throughout the years, not bouncing as much. And you can see it's so easy to just step backwards when you're already in motion, as opposed to just going stationary in front of somebody. My big weakness in this round is not bringing that left hand back to my head because he's landed a couple counter crosses. Left hand has to pull back or you gotta move your feet. Let's chop there. Always keep up on that low kick conditioning. Some people, they can't even take one or two of those. But if you get your low kick conditioning, you should be able to take five or 10 of those even per round during the fight and not break down. These are only two minute rounds because it's an amateur fight. Nice knee to the body. And there we go. I would say that was, that was his round. Not sure what's happening there. Somebody said something. <laughs> We're confused. Are we fighting? Are we not? Oh, there. Okay, I see lights were off. Yeah, that seems fair to take a break until the lights come back on. You don't want to get hit with the technique because you were lacking eyesight. Another left round kick there. I really like that. I'm going to have to get back to throwing that. It's not necessarily better than the punches he's throwing, but I just like how crisp it is and how it can stop somebody in place. To the back leg. I worked hard on my clinch, but look at just how strong he is. Good body shot there. I'm trying to get those front kicks up to head level, but he's doing a good job of just taking that little lean back or a little step back, and then I tell that, oh, there's no point because he's out of range. Once again, that left round kick to the body. And again, oh, I switched, see that? I knew I switched my stance in this fight somewhere. It was just for a moment. Project, let's rip it off. Projects are, are fun to wear, but they can be a little annoying, especially if you're in a fight where you really want to keep the pace going. And for me, I like a high pace. I don't like giving my opponents breaks. Good corkscrew there. Nice shot to the body. This is a competitive round, this one. And we move into the final round here. So much respect between opponents, I love it. I really don't like when people make their opponents out to be enemies, like I have to hate them to fight them. Like I don't want to fight my buddy or anything like that, but I have respect for everybody I go up against. Once again, the stance switch, very quick. Go down to the body, a shot there. I'll have to make a video on how to stop the clinch when somebody gets the double plum on you. I'm not doing a great job here. Nice high kick. Not doing a great job of uh, stopping his double hand clinch the way I should be, but there's very easy ways to do that. Nice counter hook there. Oh, he walked into that cross. He's a tough dude. I actually was going to go to China with him. We were both going to fight 
uh, for Team Canada, and he ended up having some sort of injury, a really bad one, where they wouldn't clear him, and he had to go in and get surgery, some sort of surgery where they're going to actually cut open uh, his head, and I can't remember what they were removing, an aneurysm or something like that maybe. He's fine, um, but I was disappointed because I was looking forward to going to China with him. He was such a nice dude. We actually had him over to our house after the fight. Uh, the whole team that came from Toronto and spent the next day together just hanging out, showing them the city. There's that lean back, just dropped the weight on them. Front kick up to the face landed that time. And there we go. That was a nice, clean fight. The judge's decision, I'll spoil it for you, was split my way. I just like the clean, solid performance from both of us there. That was fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And I'll be back soon with more videos.